three minutes to turn inside of one week. And that is one of well, the main part of the CMS experiment. Red things at the back there are magnets. That's the chamber where they're going to collect a lot of the information. The nice hole in the middle. Something else to go in. That's a big laser gun effectively, or a big particle accelerator gun thing. So protons are going to shoot out of that. Fill something here, which is going to mirror the red bits there. It's all upstairs. Uh, the data will be collected in, anal uh, in this area and then analysed at the uh, central area. I'll give a look up there. That's how deep down we are. That's about 100 metres straight up. Now, if you have a look again at those red parts, as I said, that's half the system. The other half is upstairs in a warehouse uh, being worked on and constructed and finished. And each of those parts, and I think there are four or five of them, is going to have to come down at this whacking big hole here. Straight down here, get slotted together like a bunch of those Russian dolls, uh, and then allow that to slide in and the experiment to take place sometime in about the next seven months, I believe. Um, each of those red parts uh, are essentially huge solenoids, it's the world's largest solenoid, the largest one ever built, and each one of those parts weighs about 800 tons. The largest part they've had to drop down was about. Uh, I think 1,200 tons I was told, which is just phenomenal. And when the things come down this huge tunnel, there's about 5 centimetres on either side. Very, very precise what they're doing. Fantastic. I, mean, I don't mind admitting I'm rather sad and I got goosebumps when I walked in here. So uh, we're going back upstairs again now. Well, when I say stairs, I mean the 